Hello everybody. So again, we've got this wonder building kit from Elect Freaks. This little ro robotics kind of kit. It says 20 in one, but now they market it as 32 in one. They now have 32 model models um, that they give descriptions on how to build. So you could just you know go grab that wiki. I'll show you where it is in a minute. You could just go grab that wiki and just start building the models. But I think it's better to start exploring what the board and the parts can do before you uh, you build out just randomly or just blindly following their directions. Um, so set this aside. So now we want to look at these parts. So I'll take it apart. So this is the brains. This is a micro bit. This is the expansion board. Is the Wukong expansion board. It's a nice little board. It's got a lot of features to it, a lot of pins kind of thing. Um, this goes into it here, that direction. And then the kit comes with two motors and a servo. Now, how do you know the difference between them other than if you knew the gray, one was gray and one was um, red? Because they're both by Geek Servo. So motor only has two cables, a positive and a negative. Servo has three because it needs the positive, the negative, the ground, and a signal. So that's how you tell the difference. Um, now on the board, there are two places to attach motors. And they're labeled motor one and motor two, uh, as long as you know which is which. Bam. And they, they're they nice that they've got, this, they've got this, this bar here, this slot here that slides in. So they only go one way, so you can, you know, only hook the positive up to the positive kind of thing. Get that out of the way. And then the servos, there is a special place to hook up the servos. It says S0 through S7 because it, it's set up into the, in the code kind of thing. And then the other side is just basic pin pinouts. So I'm going to go with S0. Orange is the signal. Red is power, and then this is like a brownish, is ground. Make sure you plug it the right direction. I'm going with servo zero, because that's what I've uh, created on my micro bit. Now let's pop over to the web. So again, you bought this kit, scroll through it, make sure you look at the instructions, make sure you look at everything it tells you, and there's a link down somewhere down there that's gonna get you to this wiki, which is how to build the 32 models. And you can just do that, but you really should probably explore the board first because that's that's the thing that's gonna that's running everything. So, you know, get to this page that's you know the Wukong expansion adapter board. Look through it, and there'll be a, a link there to click on that really describes what's on the board and gives you some code to play with. So things to do. Electrics has some nice code. Now they got a couple mistakes on there, but that's okay. Um, so we use make code to program the micro bit. And I've already got a code here because it's what I have on my micro bit. So let me explain a little bit. First of all, when you come into make code, these blocks here, the Wukong, the Mechanum, which is a different thing, um, and the NeoPixel blocks are not here. So you need to get them. That's either going clicking on extensions here or clicking on extensions up here and then just search for Wukong and click on that one. So Electrix has written uh, some codes just for its kit. So then we click on here, you know, this is for lights, you know, those little blue glowy things underneath. They only, you know, breathe kind of thing for on and off or, or fade in and out, um, light intensity. Now I'll talk about the motors. So there are two blocks for motor. So this one block, you can either set motor one or motor two. This block, you can set both the motors at the same time, which is useful. And then stop motor, stop all motors. And then we also have the servo block. So let me move some of this out of the way a little bit. Sometimes when I get programs going, I like to know where everything is, like a servo. I want to know that it's at zero, so it's not going to jump on me. 
So often at my on starts, I will set my servos to zero. Now, why does it say it's 360 here? Why are there three choices? 180, 270, 360? Because there are different kind of servos. Some servos only go from zero to 180. Some go from zero to 270. Some go from zero to 360. There's even a fourth kind. It's called a continuous rotation servo, which is kind of like a motor. It just keeps going clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on what number you tell it. Our servos are 360 degree servos. That means it'll go to any angle you pick between zero and 360. So we gotta make sure that we tell our code that it's a 360 servo. So that's why we just grab, there's only one servo block. It's this, it says set servo. And I'm gonna say, hey, it's a 360 servo. Where is it? Well, I gotta tell where that servo is plugged into that I wanna deal with. I'm on serve, I'm on zero. And then I gotta tell what angle I wanna go to. So that's the basics. Um, a motor has speed from negative 100 to 100, clockwise, counterclockwise kind of thing. Um, so you can use the slide or you can just type in, right? Okay. So that's motors. So what I've done here is I've set up a little code. Yes, I started my, make sure my motor, my servo starts at zero. And then I said, hey, on button A, press stop motor two. And then set my servo to zero. Wait a second, set it to 90. Wait a second, set it to 180. If you don't have enough wait time, it'll look like it just keeps moving because it takes time for a servo to turn. And then at the end of all that, I say, hey, start the motor. And then I have on button B press. Stop motor one. And then set my servo to 270 and then 360. And then run my motor two, but run it backwards at 100%. So let's see what this all looks like. Let's go to the webcam. Again, um, I press once for on. I've you know stuck a little thing in here so we can see it. Apparently that's zero because again my my beginning of the code said on start go to zero. Motors aren't running, but if I press button A, that went to zero, went to ninety, went to one eighty, and then this motor started turning because this is motor one. Now if I press button B. It stopped the motor, and it had this go 270 and 360, and then turned that motor on. Why didn't that motor go on right away? Because it was like the fourth line of code. It had to get through the other lines of code before it can get to the run motor. If I wanted the motor to run first, I had to put that to the top of the block. I'm going to press A again. Now you're going to ask me, why didn't it go all the way to zero? Well, because... It says at the beginning of the block to go to zero, wait a second, then go to 90. Well, by the time it got all the way around here, it had already been that one second. So it went to 90 and then 180. So there's timing involved when you've got to set these. See how it went to zero that time? I'll press it. Boom. It went to zero and then quickly was turning to 90 because it, it only pauses for a second. So you got to play with timing on these. And then we're going to press B. Now, really important when you build uh, devices like cars that you understand that um, sometimes motors are in opposite directions. And so um, 100 and 100 means one motor is going forward and one motor is going backwards. Um, so you got to be careful with that. So pay attention to which way your motors are going. And sometimes you have to use the, you know, the opposite number. So there is setting up servos and motors. Again, we've got eight servos we can plug in there and run. You'd have to buy some more. And you can buy the little um, nine gram motors. This is actually a pretty power servos. I'm sorry, servos. This is actually a pretty powerful servo. It does a two kilogram uh, torque. That's not a torque. Um, but it's, a, it's called a two kilogram uh, servo and the little blue ones are like nine gram so they can't move as much 
but they're also less expensive. So it depends on what you got to move. And you can buy different motors too if you want. These are pretty good, pretty good motors, but that's as fast as they're going to go unless you gear it up. So there's how your, your uh, servo and your motors are going to run. Thanks for watching. Bye.